Okay, we need a shuffle deck of cards for this effect. And so you can have the spectator, the cards are going everywhere off the table there, off the mat. Have the spectator do the mixing, that would be just fine. Um, then gather them up. Now in the end, really all we need are uh, four random red cards and four random black cards, okay? So there's a black, red, black, red, black, black, then red. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing the kinds of cards we get. Oh, we need more and more red. Sorry about that. Kinds of, oh boy. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, the kinds of cards that you randomly get from a deck. Okay, at times. Okay. So you really just need four red and four black. Okay, so randomly stack those. Um, now, since we saw the cards, why don't we go ahead and just, we'll deal them out into a triangle here and stack in opposite order. And let me just show you that they are well mixed now. Strange. <laughs> Golly, it's unbelievable. Two eights, two nines, all of these diamonds, two clubs and two spades. Okay, well, as, you see, as you'll see in a minute, none of that matters <laughs> to what we'll do unbelievable okay randomness is not that random okay so what we're going to do speaking of randomness uh we're going to mix the cards with you sounding in how would you like these stacked left on right okay very good uh why do we do four piles how would you like these stacked left to right right to left right to left okay uh we can do an up jog have you heard of a like an even up jog Okay. So essentially, I'm showing you as the performer some of the mixing that you can do, and it won't harm anything. Uh, we can actually do a down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down. Last one goes on top. Uh, we can do a Klondike shuffle. One of those, or many of those. We can do a feral shuffle. Why don't we stop with that? Because otherwise you're going to fall asleep. But... Um, You'll find out in the tutorial that there's hundreds of different mixing procedures you can actually perform, okay? And it won't undermine anything we hope to accomplish. And now you tell the spectator that after years of training your fingers and the sensitivity of your fingers to distinguish red ink from black ink, you're going to take this packet behind your back and you're going to separate out the red cards from the black cards. And uh, you truly can do all of this with the cards behind your back, as you'll see, okay? Now, if I were to do that now, you won't see what I'm doing <laughs> with the cards behind my back. So you're gonna have to pretend that you're now looking behind my back and I'm supposedly filling and distinguishing between red cards and black cards. Okay, well, let me tell you what I'm actually doing behind my back, okay? In fact, why don't we bring out a uh, written little thing that might help you if you're not familiar with Bessie sequences. There's not much you have to remember. So if you can remember this sequence right here, 1001-0110, or red, black, black, red, black, red, red, black, that's all you need, okay? So what this tells me is, if I put all of the ones together in one pile, they'll be of one color, and all of the zeros will be of the other color. Now, we won't know what the color is in each of these two piles at the end, but we know, will know that they're of opposite color. So from behind my back, what I could do is just, you know, you can kind of pretend that you're doing stuff. You can make noise like this, uh, but just pull out the top card and put it on your left. Okay, so that's like a one <laughs> or a red. And then do some more fiddling. And you could even pull out the next two cards, put them on the right. Those are both black. More fiddling. Okay, let's see. I, I think this one goes there. Uh, this one goes there. Oh, also this, this one goes, no, no, wait, wait, wait. No, no, I don't think that's right. I think it goes here. Uh, next one goes here. And then the last one, I'm pretty sure goes right there. Okay, so however you want to use your acting skills, and then you just reveal that you've perfectly separated these crazy diamonds <laughs> from the 
black cards here, clubs and spades. Okay. So the secret to this is the fact that all of the mixing that we did was not harming the structure of this packet. So you still have, to a great degree, complete knowledge of where things are relative to red and black, like how those are distributed, okay? Um, and so we could even just do that. Maybe we, Let's do that face up for a minute just to kind of show you that. Okay, so we started with a block of red, a block of black. So what I did was I dealt out into a triangle, and then you pick up the first pile dealt out, you pick up first, and then you stack in opposite order. This is a clever way to convert the block of red and black cards to what is called a Bessie sequence of order eight. So we have red, black, black, red, black, red, red, black. Okay, and if it had been black, red, red, black, red, black, black, red, that would be equally fine. Okay, now from here, you can deal out into two piles as many times as you like with random stacking. You can deal out into four piles with stacking from left to right, right to left. You can also do leapfrog. You can do up jogs, so forth. Okay, that won't harm anything. You can do down under, you can do a pharaoh, you can do a Klondike, you can do a Maj. In fact, I'll add a link in the description below to Bessie's sequences so you can learn all the things you can do. But the fact is, after all of that mixing, it's still going to have this kind of structure where you have one color, here it's black, and then the next two are of the opposite color, and then back to a black, and then there's a red, two black, and a red. Okay, so it's almost like reds and blacks have switched places. Now, if you think about it behind your back, all you have to do is pull off the top one. Next two are going to be of the same color. Now, we won't necessarily know what color, but we know that they're of the same color. Next one is going to be of the other color. Next one is going to be of the opposite color. And then I pretended to put down a second one. And I changed my mind because, in fact, it goes here. And then this one goes here, and then that one goes there. So if you can just keep in mind this simple sequence here, you can separate those cards perfectly into two piles of cards of opposite color. Okay, so anyway, that's just kind of a, a simple, fun effect that you can perform that really is quite surprising because the spectator has no idea how in the world can you tell the difference between red and black cards behind your back. And they have every reason to believe that you're doing something like that because they saw all of the mixing. And the thing that they can't possibly understand or, or, or believe to be true, they just don't think that the organization of the cards has been preserved in any way after all of the random mixing and choices made by the spectator. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.